Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In January of 2015, Lisette Gonzalez was arrested for driving on a suspended license. At her trial, a jury had found her guilty, and Judge Fred Schott had handed down a sentence until he began reading into her previous DUI arrest that suspended her license in the first place. As it turns out, Officer Michael Wagner testified that he saw Miss Gonzalez drinking from a can of natural ice while driving. Officer Wagner took Gonzalez to the Seminole County Jail, but testified that no one qualified to perform an alcohol breath test was present. So he just checked the box, saying that she tested above a .08, the legal limit, suspending her driver's license, booked her into jail, and left. Two months later, she was caught driving on the wrongfully suspended license. But now, with the new information, Judge Schott determined that her license should have never been suspended in the first place, as her DUI was only possible because the officer had perjured himself. If I could be heard on, on that matter, I was going to ask... Before you, before, you, before you go okay. there, before you go there, um, I want to be enlightened. Um, I didn't think your license got suspended for six months just for getting arrested for a DUI. It was a mistake, admittedly, by Michael Wagner, who testified that today. He and caused her to have her driver's license suspended for, for at least a few months, and now you're arrested yes, he did, your Honor. for nothing. Yeah, so are you going to know across that case, um, or am I going to get mad at you today? Perhaps you can get mad at me, Your Honor, but at this point, the um, only minute. thing that we're willing to do, Did you hear the uncontroverted honor? testimony of this officer? Your Honor. Yeah. Regardless of, Tell me your position. Yes, Your Honor. Um, the DMV is in charge of suspending licenses. Yeah, they when, when the officers lie office. to them. Correct, Your Honor, and that's why Patriot... Then I want you to take him up for on, perjury. Your Honor. Will you take him up for he perjury? Did, he admitted it was a mistake, Your Honor. No, but he lied. He lied on a sworn Absolutely citation. Absolutely not, Your Honor, and that is... That is not true. I'm dismissing. The state's position. I'm dismissing. You cannot am, summarily dismiss I, I your honor without a motion for us to be able to charge. respond to. No, I'm we, dismissing the charge. You can appeal. We will, your honor. Please provide us a written order. No, I'm dismissing the charge. So there will be no court minutes or what? Sui sponte, based upon this record. And that case has the same record as this case. So take it up on appeal with him lying about it. And it's getting not her lying, your honor, and, it, and I won't let that be said today. He admitted to the mistake today. Patrons uh, and people who have identifications and driver's fishy, licenses in the state of Florida have, no have to you know keep what? their address on file. You know what? The state intends to amend I'm the granting. charge and proceed on I the am, no I am, I'm, I'm rescinding the sentence. I'm granting the JOA. So you're granting it because you don't agree with the state's decision on I'm the other charge? I'm granting the JOA in fairness. In fairness, because you, you don't it. like the state's decision today, Your Honor, on the case? No, you, you're not. No, I, I've, I've, reconsidered. I've reconsidered all of the testimony and the evidence. And, and you know, now and that, I consider, like now that, that I consider what Officer Wagner testified to and how many times he basically tripped over himself unnecessarily just to arrest this lady with no real probable cause. We should have had a suppression hearing. I'm granting the motion for jail. Then the state would like to be heard on that matter, Your Honor, as they're entitled to be heard. Sure. Today we've proven, as Your Honor initially indicated, until such time as the state was not able to tell you why we're proceeding on the uh, charge that we were proceeding on, the state intended to amend that to either a civil infraction and or a no valid, but the state needed time and intended to do that. However, in this particular case, there was ample testimony as to the fact that the, uh, the defendant's own statement that she was in possession of alcohol and she drank it. There was testimony um, uncontroverted from the defendant that that was in fact alcohol and she normally doesn't. This is again evidence, direct evidence and not circumstantial evidence. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, there was bad decision making, there was balance, there was sway issues and everything else. You're done. But you still have this other criminal charge. I'm not dismissing that. The DeWillis, we're going to go full bore. We'll get DMV people in here. We'll get Officer Wagner back here. And we'll find out why your license was suspended and if somebody broke the law to cause your license to be suspended. And that's the route you wanted to go. No, you're so right. That's, that's not really right. Right. Is that is, is that another case on your docket? I yes, heard it that is it was on, on your docket. In both. Okay, I just yeah, wanted to make we'll sure. We'll see where that goes. Okay. Motion JOA is granted. Your Honor, I believe it would be judgment notwithstanding a verdict. Judgment notwithstanding a verdict. And you're not going to provide a written order on that? Nope. It's in the minutes. You want to appeal me?
The judge absolutely has the authority to overrule the jury's verdict, but it is rarely done. The morning after this incident, the judge changed course again and filed a four-page order saying that he was granting a motion for a new trial, although no one had made such a motion. Miss Gonzalez's defense says that because she was acquitted, any retrial would violate her right to not be prosecuted more than once for the same offense. And after all of this, Judge Schott was removed from criminal trials. He was then reassigned to a civil docket. In a statement, he said that he sticks by his decision, but he admits that he shouldn't have gotten so mad at the prosecutor, or granted a non-existent motion for a new trial after apparently acquitting the driver. And in the end, the officer maintains that it was merely a mistake. But I'd like to know what you think, as this case does not appear to have been appealed or retried, nor does it seem that Miss Gonzalez has filed a civil suit against the officer or prosecutor. And of course, the officer was never charged with perjury. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Some people were um, swearing. Absolutely. And would you describe other people's demeanors as upset or angry? Um, it's, it's, I, I don't know if you've seen anybody be killed, but it's upsetting. Okay. Um, the yes, I was just going to object, Your Honor. As argumentative and you can proceed. We are outside the hearing of the jury, Ms. Hanson. I'm advising you, do not argue with counsel, and specifically, do not argue with the court. Is I, the I, cameras I, off? Are the cameras off? No, they are not. We are on the record. Okay. You will not argue with the court. You will not argue with counsel. Mm -hmm. They have the right to ask questions. Your job is to answer them. I was finishing my answer. I will determine when your answer is done. Okay, well... And so, do not argue with the court. Do not argue with mm -hmm. counsel. Answer the questions. Do not volunteer information that is not requested. The attorneys for the state have redirect. They can ask you questions if they think that certain things were left out. Okay. It is counsel's prerogative to ask you leading questions and for you to answer those and not volunteer additional information. Okay. Are we clear on this? We're clear. Thank you. Come back tomorrow at 9.30. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content. And check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.